Hold on to your britches, we're making a freaking laser. Okay, so I'm not gonna print a laser, but I'm making one. I went ahead and bought a laser diode, and I bought a flashlight that I'm gonna scavenge the case out of. What I do need to do is print adapters so that I can put the laser diode into the housing and turn it on and off easily with the clicky switch. So as you see here, I'm printing a nozzle looking thing. Basically, this is gonna hold the laser diode and it's gonna thread into the pre-existing threads for the housing. I call this the laser insert. Mmm, look at that hardware. I got this 50 milliwatt laser via China. Took a while, but holy crap, it was worth it. This thing is crazy bright. All right, so this hole right here is one millimeter in diameter. That's tiny and it printed. I didn't drill that. I'm constantly amazed at the Ultimaker and what it can do. All right, now we have to shoehorn this here laser diode into my laser bracket. Now, I had some tape on the side to make it all nice and snug. But once we got it in there, then you had to kind of fiddle with that wire to get it through the hole. I'm going through all this trouble to get the negative wire to ground out against the aluminum case for a reason. I want to be able to use the clicky switch on the back of the flashlight to turn the laser on and off. Alright, now that I've got the wire through, I'll just bend it over in the direction that I'll be tightening it so that it bends into the threads. And then I uh, spin her in. Now, the black piece that you see around the red wire is holding my positive lead, and I have to thread that in as well. Um, I kind of push them both in and thread them in at the same time, and then I flip it over and find adjust the black part after I've got the silver one snug. The black piece I also printed. I ran the positive lead through it and soldered it to a spring that I had rolling around. All right, now let's see if all that trouble working with that spring was worth it. Let's slide the battery in and see if it springs. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, because I grounded the diode to the aluminum housing, when I thread the switch in, I should be able to click it and turn the diode on and off. I'm a firing my laser. No, it was pretty hot, so I didn't want to hold it on my hand for too long, but you get the point. It turns on and off. It's pretty sweet. I've got some pretty bright LED lighting in this room, and you can still see the laser beam. It's insanely bright. Okay, well, now what do we do? Oh yeah, let's burn some stuff. Now, this is 0.4 millimeters of PLA, and it burned right through it. Electrical tape, anyone? Oh yeah, it'll smoke it. Look at this. It's just cutting right through it. This thing is ridiculous. Well, now that you got your fix of lasery goodness, please hit that subscribe button, like the channel, comment down below, and I'd love to answer your questions. The next video that I'm putting together for you guys is how to put a heated bed on the Ultimaker, which is uh, quite a process, but I break it down to easy steps, so stay tuned for that. Lasers are a lot like matches. I don't know why, but they're just a lot of fun to play with.